know what else puts a smile on my face? Actress yes. Regina King. She's a three-time Emmy Award winner, and she's been entertaining audiences on television and film for, get this, more than three decades. I've been loving it all three decades. Well, mm -hmm. Sunday night was a huge night for King. She earned her first Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture. It was for the new Barry Jenkins film, If Beale Street Could Talk. In her acceptance speech, King pledged to help change Hollywood. Being called one of the best speeches of the night, the film If Beale Street Could Talk is based on the 1974 book by James Baldwin. The story follows two young lovers, Tish and Fonny, whose future is in jeopardy after Fonny is in prison for a crime he did not commit. King plays a matriarch. Her name is Sharon Rivers. And in this clip, she just told Fonny's family that her daughter Tish is expecting a baby. That child is coming. It's your grandchild. I don't understand you. It's your grandchild. What difference does it make how he gets here? The child ain't got nothing to do with that. Ain't none of us got nothing to do with that. That child. That child. Regina King, good morning to you. You good are getting morning. rave reviews good for your morning. performance in that movie. And I know you read the book and you said you read the screenplay, but it seems to me that you really felt you knew this woman, Sharon Rivers. You know this why, this girl. Absolutely, absolutely. She's kind of an amalgamation of all the women in my life. Um, I'm blessed enough to come from um, a family that um, that's how we get through everything, love and support. And I think so many of us, in the world um, mirror that same um, reality. So uh, um, I knew her. Yeah. I knew her. Yeah. yeah. I know her. Yeah. You what? talked about the, the impact uh, that this movie had on your son. I want you to talk about that, but I also want you to address the impact it had on your own mother. Mm. You know, she was, it's so funny because I got to talk to her um, I was before the Golden Globes, and she, the movie had just it just got to Cincinnati mm -hmm. and she was just so proud to be able to take 11 people to, go <laughs> to, the, to, to see the film yeah, great. and and just she, she recognized my grandmother herself in the performance in the movie recognized our family and she just kept saying I'm just so proud baby I'm yeah. just so proud yeah. and you just you know, warms your heart to have your mom say that. Because at the end of the day, I think most of us, you know, you never want to disappoint your mom. Right. Exactly. You know, and um, I, I love my mom so much. She is an, an amazing woman. And I've always felt like if, like if I could be half the mother mm -hmm. she is, I'm doing okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, I think you're doing okay, too. And, and yeah. in this film, the family and the mom... Are, are what get them all through. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, yeah. it's a survival and resilience in a situation where Fani is totally railroaded and has to end up, not to spoil it, but, and, and it's, if it weren't for the family, everything would fall apart. Absolutely, and I think that that's one of the beautiful things about this story, that James Baldwin um, was conscious enough to make sure that it was a partnership between Joe and Sharon. Yes. You know, so often we see these stories and the father, the patriarch isn't there. And um, you get to see that love between a father and his daughters, between him and um, another father. Uh, and that's important for us to see because we don't get to see it, but we do live it and experience and it. And to that point, though, you made a point at the New York Film Critics Award. I, I was, I've had the honor of introducing you. But here we are in a predominantly white room, and you made a point of saying to the white audience, even though this is a black cast, uh, please don't think of this as a black movie. Yes. This is an American movie. Why did you want to make that point? Because um, I think so often just we judge things just by what we see imme immediately. Yeah. And you look at this beautiful um, billboard or poster and just assume that it's not a story for you. You said it's and an American story. It, is an, it yeah. is an American story because look at 1974 is when James Baldwin worked, wrote this book and we're still uh, addressing those same issues mm -hmm. 45 years later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that that's an American mm -hmm. um, story. That's that's something that we have to um, address as a country. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I feel like at the end of the day, isn't love universal? Yes. yes. Is it, isn't yes. pushing yes. through yes. with the support of your family yes. Yes. universal? Absolutely. So that's that's what I mean. Your meant speech by that. you gave at the Golden oh, no, Globes. That's what I wanted to ask. Go ahead, you. Nora. No, yeah, I mean, because the idea about using that platform too, which is that speech yeah. in that audience, to say something more than just about the role you've been acknowledged for, but about a value that yeah. you're embracing. Why did you feel so strongly about that? And I want to know the reaction to it after yes, you said it. Yes. Yeah. Um, it, it, here I am blessed with an opportunity to have a platform that's bigger than the average woman, mm -hmm. you know? And when I say average, meaning that she's a, a woman that's not in the public's eye, because mm -hmm. you know? there's nothing average about women. <laughs> <laughs> so true, yes. Um, uh, and while for a quick second, um, I wasn't sure what exactly I was going to say, but I knew that I needed to take the, the, the moment to say something at a time when women, are, we are using our voices and we are being heard, mm -hmm. um, that I, I needed to shoot my shot. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I did, and the most amazing thing is, as soon as I walked off that stage, the, um, what I started receiving from men, you know, Tyler Perry is immediately after I got off, whatever, whatever I need to do to That's help you good. accomplish that. Yes. Emails from Bert Salke, John Levy, casting director that I've worked with before, um, Michael Listo, who's hired me as a female director. Well, Regina, that, you did a call to action and people, and people, people all hands are on deck, you know, and that's where it starts, yes. you know, it just takes one little Seed. Well, continued yeah. success yeah. because, as amazing. Bianca pointed out, you've been in this game a long time. Yeah. It's amazing. You you have your head screwed on straight. You don't seem to have any issues, and you're just gorgeous and still continuing. Yes, yeah. got a lot more praise for you. Coming coming up. Yeah. Oscar nominations so nice coming to up. Have I you can't here. wait. Yes, Oscars. My yes. favorite dress of the night too. Hey. Yours. Hey. Thanks. That's right. That's right. If, if Bill Street, Beale Street, could talk is playing in select theaters now and opens nationwide January 18th.